here we are, very excitedly, with the new GoCycle G3. We've also got Craig here from GoCycle, very exciting. Just going to be this one of the first ones in the UK. And we're going to do a little video here at Fully Charged Headquarters. I'll take you through it. And it's kind of new to me as well. We're very familiar with the G2, but with the G3, it's kind of new. So, first of all, you've got the new bag, which is fantastic. This is actually a docking station with wheels on it. Take it on your plane, put it on your boat, put it wherever you want. It's a fantastic improvement from the last one. So let's try and open it up. Okay, well, well let me jump in. A couple of things. The, the travel bag has always gone down incredibly well, but we decided to make a couple of improvements to that. Notably, the four wheels, which uh, make it far easier to wheel along any surface. And secondly, the way in which the top of the cover comes off. That's fantastic. So it's got its new colour, which is called Electric Blue, which is exclusive to the G3. And it also comes still in the matte black and the white, but the grey is no longer. Well, the grey speed discontinued initially. And one of the great advantages of the docking station is the way it's securely uh, assembled. Uh, you can pick the whole unit up very simply, and there's no chance of falling over at any stage. The wheels are also removable, so it can sit firmly on the base, uh, on the floor in your apartment, in your boat, So you can actually just pop, pop these off easily. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, cool. So they would sit flush on any surface. Exactly. Cool. Okay, so let's... Okay. Most importantly, everything has a place. So the wheels, very easy to uh, put into the docking station. The seat post has its own place. So this is great. So you can actually ship the bikes like this now. Uh, possibly. Oh, possibly. Uh, I'll just look this around quickly so you can see the way in which it's uh, locked in place. We have this thumb screw here. And once that's disengaged, there we have it. Some more lack. First thing we want to do is assemble the seat post. Just locking it in place as we would have previously. Doing this at the same time. Two man team, quite handy. I mean, if you're really good at this, you can probably do it in about 45 seconds. So. Yeah. So now the thing to do, once you, you've got a couple of items to hold on to, so the, the saddle and the handlebars, you just use the weight of the go cycle to open it fully. At this point, you just want to locate the lock shock, deploy the kickstand, and then you have the go cycle neatly balanced. And you have a new improvement on the new G3 wheels. Um, what's the correct name for? So we have a hex lock, which you can see called out in the red. Very cool. So what the hex lock does, it's a visual aid. So you can see at a glance whether your cam levers are fully locked. We just click it open, and then we can open the cam levers, ready to either assemble or disassemble. So easy. We can start the uh, daytime running light either by switching it with the button at the front or. Oh wow, okay, super cool. It automatically comes on once you start riding. Really nice. Very much like, a, like an Audi, isn't it? Like how they have that LED kind of driving light. It's cool. So, just to. Uh, the, the default mode would be the nighttime mode, just so you don't uh, dazzle anyone. But then you have the, the data and the bright one. And then, and then the heartbeat mode. Uh, we go into the system and set that as a default. Okay, cool. Great. So some of the other new features that I can notice, I mean, you've got the red accents here on the motor. You've got the new logo on the front, which is really nice touch. And then you've got the clean drive here for the um, fully enclosed um, chain system, which is great because obviously it doesn't splash anything on you. You don't get any oil. It's it's like a closed atmosphere in there. Absolutely. So you don't get any, you don't need to oil the chain, it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get greasy, it just stays mint the whole well, time. That's exactly it. And I think for uh, commuters, the, the biggest um, frustration is the grit that comes off the roads. Yeah. That's what uh, corrodes and damages your drivetrain. 
we have the drive train fully protected, so you have a much longer service interval with the go cycle. It's easy to keep it, your bike clean, and uh, the benefit is that it keeps you clean as well. If we actually run through just the, the basic differences between the G3 and the G2, we've obviously highlighted the daytime running light. We uh, have called out the, the new G3 accents, the red anodized parts. The G3 battery uh, has a 25% greater capacity. So that's an average autonomy, would you say, about 20 to 25 miles of one charge? Uh, it depends on the mode you're running in. And, you know, that's the one thing with electric bikes in general. Um, the more modes you offer, and the more power that people demand, um, that will affect your range. Yeah. So with the G2, we always said that we had a range of between uh, 20 and 40 miles, yeah. uh, mode dependent. With the G3, we, we're saying that we can get between 30 and 50. Wow, um, yeah, that's, that's great. Which is a, it's an excellent range uh, for most commuters and beyond that as well. Now also, uh, very importantly, we have a new battery management system, which means that the startup and shutdown times are far quicker. Uh, which just helps you get on your way that much quicker as well. And it also has greater protection of the battery during the charge uh, procedure. So we'd have less failures um, than you could possibly experience, uh, depending on your power source. Um, on top of that, uh, a couple of uh, minor changes. There's a slightly wider fork, yep. which uh, for dealers helps because that uh, makes servicing easier. Yep. Uh, and it adds a little bit of stiffness to the, the go cycle as well. Uh, and then the rest of the changes are really internal to make the, the product a bit more efficient. I, I, I've noticed as well the much sleeper design here of the head cassette head unit because um, some of the G2s did get a little bit squeaky at times, and then obviously there's a cure for it, but this looks very well designed. I've been told it will never squeak. <laughs> It'll never squeak. But uh, I think what the, uh, the, cha the reason for the change is that you simply have to service parts of um, any bike. And the headset of the Go Cycle G2 uh, was quite complicated, and it could develop a squeak after several hundred miles of riding, especially you know, in wet weather. And you would just make your adjustments at the top. Uh, and because it was included in the fold mechanism, it was quite a complicated part. Uh, now the um, alignment is handled at the bottom of the uh, steerer tube, and the fold joint is very simply a fold joint. So it, Service intervals again will be greater, um, and it will be a, possibly a smoother line as well. And these grips are so much better as well, especially the um, Swiss grip now, changing gears up and down, much more kind of with the Formula One esque design of, of, of you know, how the go cycle is, rather than the button that they had on the G2. Sure. And plus the throttle action here, if you do take it into off road mode, you do have um, right. very much. Well, options. yeah, there, there are a couple of changes. The ergonomic grips. Um, and one of the things, now that we have a greater range, um, you want to have greater comfort as well over distance. So the ergonomic grips definitely help that. The change of the buttons um, from the single push buttons to the dual shifters um, just means it's slightly more intuitive. Uh, if you're going to shift up a gear, you do one way, down a gear, yeah, the other way. Yeah, that's fine. Equally, on the right hand side, you have control over the what is called the power button which would work in modes such as power and command. Yeah. But equally, you have your button that is going to influence your uh, daytime running light as well. And yeah. uh, that's all included. Fantastic. Well, great products. Um, really, I mean, it was difficult to improve, but you certainly seem to have done it the right way. So, um, thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers, Craig.